Hey everyone, it's Marianne here at Thrive Admin. And in today's video, we're gonna be chatting about CC and BCC. Now these are two really useful features inside your Outlook emails. If you're not sure how to use these, or you wanna avoid some really common email mistakes, then stick around because this video is for you. So what is the difference? Carbon copy or CC is for people who should see the email, but don't necessarily need to reply or take any action. BCC or blind carbon copy is where the recipients won't see who else has received the same email. So here's how we use CC and BCC. So we go to create a new email, which I'm going to pop up here, popped up on the other screen. And you can see that the automatic response now I'm working in Outlook on a PC on the desktop, but I automatically have using Outlook 365 from, so this is the email address that I'm sending it from, who I'm sending it to, which would be your normal recipient list. You would use CC, which is this next line, if you're keeping someone in the loop. So for example, if you're adding your manager to an update. So if I was sending one here that was going to um, me and I want to CC in myself, um, we can do that so that I would get it and I could keep it and store it down or save it onto another system if I wanted to, if we were recording and storing all of our emails. And then I would type my email as normal. So that means that everybody here would see where it's going. If I want to BCC it, what I do is I go up to the options and you'll see here in the show fields, we've got a BCC. If I click that, it adds another line here. So the BCC works really well for larger groups where that privacy is important. So we might be sending this to individual board members or volunteers or committee members or staff in a particular grouping for whatever reason or clients is a great example where we don't want them to see who else has received this message. So that's where I would pop all of those individual messages. They will see anyone that's on the two line, anyone that's on the CC line, but no one who's on the BCC line. A quick tip here is to not overuse your carbon copy or CC. Too many people in a chain can create some confusion. So stick to only adding those people who really need that information. One other little tip when it comes to using your blind carbon copy or your BCC, make sure that you have somebody in the two line. So whether that's yourself or another department email, something generic in the top, because otherwise everyone on the BCC list gets an email to no one. And that doesn't look great either. So that is a wrap on CC carbon copy and BCC blind carbon copy. Really simple features, but really helpful when it comes to working on the professionalism of your communication. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more updates on all things Outlook and Microsoft 365. Thanks for watching.